Let's welcome in now Fred Flights. He's with us from the former Chief of Staff of the National Security Council, also the Vice Chair of the Center for American Security at the America First Policy Institute. Fred, great to see you. Hey, John, good to be here. So the White House tried to say yesterday that James Comer and House Republicans were pushing ahead with an evidence-free investigation. Sure sounds like a lot of evidence that was presented today by Chairman Comer. It's just 20, at least separate, uh, 20 separate companies $10 million, multiple LLCs, many, many Biden family members involved. I don't know what's going to happen when they keep peeling this onion. But the question I think Americans are asking is, is all these foreign companies, all these foreign officials, what do they think they were buying when they were applying all this money into the Biden family? Well, it's fairly obvious. They knew Joe Biden would be returning to government. They were buying influence. Right. These were points made not just by Chairman Comer, but also Congressman Byron Donalds. If these were legitimate businesses, show us the business plan. Show us the widgets or whatever it was they were making. Show us the, you know, what was the product that they were actually getting into and why can't they answer that question? We're going to have to, we're going to, have to wonder. And at a certain point, Fred, I mean, this has to lead if, if, if what James Comer is alleging they have to think about impeaching Joe Biden for this. This is now proof that he was receiving money, allegedly, while he was vice president of the United States from a country, Romania. Well, I think that there are many reasons to impeach Joe Biden. That isn't going to happen. We can talk about that. That's an issue that has to come up in, in the 2024 election, Re realistically. Uh, we can talk about it in, in a perfect world. He would have been thrown out a long time ago. Uh, for the terrible way he's run this country, how, how he's damaged the economy, damaged our national security, never mind all this corruption. Uh, but I think this is going to be an right. important talking point in the 24 election. Okay, real quickly, too, just one more note on this uh, whistleblower investigation by the House uh, Judiciary and Intelligence Committee. Uh, they conclude that the Biden campaign took active measures to discredit allegations about Hunter Biden by exploiting these 51 national security former intelligence officials. And it comes after the former CIA uh, director, Michael Morrell, admitted to Congress and congressional investigators that he helped trigger this letter. And nobody, Fred, has been held to account for this yet. CIA management was involved. Apparently, people who cleared the letter helped find more signatories. And Morrell said that he pushed this letter forward to help Biden get reelected. And there's an email in this new report, and it says the following. This is from Morrell to a former CIA officer. The more intelligence officers, the better. Campaign will be thrilled. I mean, John, think about that. This former CIA director is doing this, obviously, to help Biden win the election, not because of any intelligence concern, yeah. not because of national security concerns. It was blatantly political all the way, all the way down. They're going to have to strip it down to its roots, Fred, to get rid of all the politicization in the intelligence community. Great to see you. Thanks, as always. Good to be here.